In the end, the criminals targeting the cattle on this Worcestershire farm were disturbed, but not before they managed to kill two animals. You know, at first you sort of think, oh, have they eaten something? Is there something, you know, that they've damaged themselves on? But then on investigation we realised that um, something had obviously taken place that was a lot more um, worrying and they'd actually been killed, which is very upsetting. I would imagine that they were after the meat, but, um, you know, it's, we've never had it happen here before and um, I'll, I'm not really sure but I hope it doesn't happen again because it's a horrible thing to find. We've reported before on this issue of criminals slaughtering lambs, sheep and even pigs, butchering the carcasses in the field and taking the meat to sell on the black market. But slaughtering an animal as big as a cow, even a young one, would be something new. But livestock theft or slaughter is a growing problem in the Midlands. According to Stratford-based insurer NFU Mutual, the cost of agricultural theft was up 30% in the Midlands last year. That's one of the biggest increases anywhere in the country. And one farmer had 50 sheep stolen in one night. Safe inside this barn is the rest of the herd that was attacked. The animals here are about 10 months old and can weigh up to 250 kilograms. Killing a cow this size isn't easy. The police are investigating and want to stress the danger of buying meat when you don't know where it's come from. If meat isn't processed properly, then it hasn't got the same checks and balances, the same quality controls that properly produced meat would have. Um, it's not to, to scare people. But if you don't know what you're buying is properly quality stamped, then you don't know the risks. For now, Liz Clark wants to warn other farmers to keep an eye out. And yeah, if the sorry. criminals are caught... And if you could speak to the criminals themselves? Um, I don't want to. <laughs> They're not my sort of person. Extra security and a close eye will keep these animals safe. Other farms may not be so lucky. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Midlands Today.